At the end of this video, you'll be able to use subject searching as a research strategy in a library database. You're already familiar with keyword searching. It's how most of us start a search. In this example, I'm using the General Library Database Academic Search Complete and looking for information on the history of the death penalty in the United States. Note the number of results here. Let's take a look at the first article record here. No more tinkering. When I do a keyword search, the search engine looks for your keywords in all the fields of the database, including author, source, and abstract. Let's take a closer look at the subject heading field. The term capital punishment is used instead of death penalty. When I click on capital punishment, it changes the search to look just at the subject heading field in the database records and finds items that have that term in the subject field. You can see I get far more hits using capital punishment as the subject heading. To focus my results, I'm going to use these tools on the left to add terms to my search. I'll use United States, Update, then choose History to narrow it down to 19 focused articles. To demonstrate one other approach, once you know what your subject headings are, you can use an advanced search and use subject terms here. What makes subject headings so special? They're assigned by humans using a controlled vocabulary. The Library of Congress subject headings are an example. In practice, this means you don't have to know every synonym that might be used for the death penalty, like of execution or electrocution or hanging. And humans haven't thoughtfully assigned subject headings to everything on the internet. As a matter of fact, the internet does not have subject headings. It's a big difference between doing subject searches in a library database and an internet search. A final tip about subject headings. They can be hard to guess. So start with a keyword search, and when you find an item that's close to what you're looking for, make note of the subject headings. Then you can try an advanced search where you can add keywords or subject headings to narrow results. You should now know how a subject search is different from a keyword search and be able to use subject searching as a research strategy in a library database.